hello hi friends welcome back to the my youtube channel today i am discussing the some important 8th class science chapter number 15 exercise question answers that is some natural phenomena snehitra evattina entneya taragathiya vijnana taragathige tamigella aathmeeyavagi swagatha ee ondu taragathili entneya taragathiya vijnana da adhyayavadantha some natural phenomena ee ghatakke sambandhisithe exercise question answer na charcha madana snehitra if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, like and share it. If you like this video, please click the bell icon and click the bell icon. Now, some natural phenomena. 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 Which of the following cannot be charged easily by friction? Option A, a plastic scale. Option B, a copper rod. Option C, an implanted balloon. Option D, a woolen cloth. Right answer, a copper rod. A copper rod. Next question. When a glass rod is rubbed with a piece of silk cloth, the rod. Option A, Glass rod and the cloth both acquire positive charge. B becomes positively charged while the cloth has a negative charge. Rod and cloth with acquired negative charge become negatively charged while the cloth has a positive charge. Right answer option B is a right answer. A rod becomes positively charged while the cloth has a negative charge. Third question, write T against true and F against false in the following statements. First one, like charges attract each other. Like charges attract each other. This statement is false. Option B. Second one, a charged glass rod attracts a charged plastic straw. This statement is true. Lightning conductor cannot protect a building from lightning. This statement is false. Earthquakes can be predicted in advance. This statement is false. Fourth question. Sometimes a crackling sound is heard while taking off a sweater during winters explain right answer when a sweater is taken off the woolen sweater gets charged because of the friction between the sweaters and the body hence one can hear a crackling sound during the given process process Question number 5. Explain why a charged body loses its charge if we touch it with our hand. Right answer. When we touch a charged object, our body conducts its charges to the earth. That is why a charged body loses its charge. If we touch it with our hand, this phenomena is known as electric discharge. Next question. Name the scale on which the destructive energy of an earthquake is measured. An earthquake measures 3 on this scale. Would it be recorded by a seismograph? Is it likely to cause much damage right answer the destructive energy of an earthquake is measured by the Richter scale 
this scale has the readings from 1 to 10 the reading of magnitude 3 on the richard richard scale would be recorded by a seismograph if the richter scale gives a reading of magnitude 3 then the earthquake is not likely to cause much damage generally earthquake of magnitudes higher than for you is considered destructive in nature question number seven suggest three measures to protect ourselves from lightning right answer protective measures against lightning are as follows first one stay in a completely closed place if you are moving in a car then remain there until the lightning is over close the windows of the car immediately second one do not touch any electrical wires telephone cables metal pipes etc third one do not bath in running water they may cause an electric shock question number eight explain why a charged balloon is repelled by another charged balloon whereas an uncharged balloon is attracted by another charged balloon right answer the nature of charges present on the surface of charged balloons are similar since like charges repel each other two chargers charged balloons repelled each other when a charged body is brought near an uncharged body, the uncharged body acquires charges on its surface caused by the induction of charges. Charges are of opposite nature in relation to the charged body. Since unlike charges attract each other, a charged body always attracts an uncharged body. Hence, an uncharged balloon is attracted by another charged balloon. Question number 9. Describe with the help of a diagram an instrument which can be used to detect a charged body. Right answer. An electroscope can be used to detect whether a body is charged or not. The following figures shown as a simple electroscope. Charged body, it consists of a metal rod. At one end of the rod, two leaves of aluminum foil are fixed and at the other end, there is a metal disc. The leaves of aluminum foil are placed inside a conical flask and the flask is corked to isolate the leaves from air. When the metal disc is touched with a charged body, the aluminum strips move away from each other. This happens because some of the charges of the body are transferred to the strips through the metal rod. This method of charging a body is called charging by the conduction. The nature of charges on both the leaves and the charged body are similar. Hence, the both leaves of the aluminum foil will move away from the each other. If the body was not charged, then the leaves of the foil, leaves of aluminum foil, would remain as they were before. They would not repel each other. Question number 10. List three states in India where earthquakes are more likely to strike. Right answer. The three states in India where earthquakes are more likely to strike are Jammu and Kashmir, Gujarat and Assam.
क्वेश्चन नंबर एलेवन सपोज यू आर आउटसाइड यूर होम एंड एन अर्थ क्विक स्ट्राइक्स वाट प्रिकॉशन वुड यू टेक टू प्रोटेक्ट यूर सेल्फ राइट आंसर सम ऑफ द प्रिकॉशंस आर आर एज फॉलोज ट्राई टू फाइंड एन ओपन फील्ड अवे फ्राम टॉल बिल्डिंग्स इंस्टॉलेशंस टॉल ट्रीज एंड इलेक्ट्रिक वायर्स एंड फोल्स If traveling in a bus or a car, then do not come out when an earthquake strikes, as the driver to drive in an open field. Question number twelve. The weather department has predicted that a thunderstorm is likely to occur in a on a certain day suppose you have to go out on that way day would you carry an umbrella explain right answer no we should not carry an umbrella in a thunderstorm during thunderstorms which are accompanied accompanied with lightning electric carrying it Hence, it is not safe to carry an umbrella during lightning. Discharge from the clouds can travel through the metallic rods of the umbrella. Dear students, if you have any doubts in this chapter, please share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.